most successful series on this channel was my Spongebob the Musical Reaction series earlier this year. Whether that's successful because the musical's really good, or whether it's one of the only series I've actually kept up consistently, that's up for debate. Either way, Spongebob the Musical has seemed to have gained some sort of cult following as of recently, and it's even doing a tour of the UK next year. Which obviously I'm going to see, and there will be a review on it, because it's Spongebob the Bloody Musical. It got me thinking, why is Spongebob the Musical a musical adaptation of a Nickelodeon animated show, maybe the best known animated show, such a big hit? This musical often gets snubbed by musical theatre snobs, or people that try to gatekeep musical theatre and will say, this isn't a real musical, it's all catered for kids, of course it is. It's Spongebob the Musical. How could they not cater it to children? I think that earns it, the sort of underrated, the people that like it, like it, the people that hate it, absolutely despise it. But if you strip away the fact that it's Spongebob the Musical, all the elements are very, very good. Now obviously we'll get on and talk about the music of this show because that's very important, it's a musical. But first I want to talk about the characters. Obviously there was no character design that had to really go into it as they are taking characters from the show. But I think the way the costumes were done is one of my favourite things about this show. When I first heard about this show, the big question on my mind was how are they doing it? Are they going to be mascot costumes? If so, that looks strange. Or are they going to do it as if they're humans? And that's what they went with, and I'm so happy they did. I'm going to put up a few examples here. We'll have Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward. Let's have those three. Let's look. Spongebob, you... That doesn't look like a sponge. It is a guy in a shirt and tie with trousers on. But it look you, you can tell that's meant to be like a Disney-bound Spongebob. Patrick, green shorts, pink shirt, spiky, triangly hair. You can tell that's meant to be Patrick Star. And... Again, the same with Squidward. Something that does get me is Squidward's got four legs. Mr. Krabs has like boxing gloves for claw hands. So there's some sort of mixture between themes and interpretations here, but it doesn't matter because it's SpongeBob the Musical. Yes, yeah, so obviously the character designs and the costumes are incredible, but just look at the performances and the voices. I mean, Ethan Slater as SpongeBob in the original performance. Mwah. And Gavin Lee as Squidward, the voice on point, the mannerisms on point, the facial expressions on point, and the same with Danny Skinner as Patrick, these three as the three main characters. Incredible voice, costume, and characterization that just... What? Sorry, I completely failed to mention when recording this that Jalen Josie, who is Pearl Krabs, is absolutely amazing in this. Like, the fact she was 19 when she first played the role, and that voice and the note, just amazing performance from Pearl. I don't know how I failed to mention that. I'm so sorry. Enjoy the video. Oh, sorry. Perhaps the most unique part of this musical, and maybe the part that makes it what it is, is the way the music is done. One of the most genius things in SpongeBob the Musical is, surprisingly, the music. The reason the music is so clever and perfect in this show is it isn't just written by one composer. Traditionally, in a musical, obviously, it's written by one, maybe two or three people. But this show, the songs are all over the place. From Steven Tyler, David Bowie, Cindy Lauper, John Legend, Jonathan Colton, Panic at the Disco, like the range of the artists that write music for this musical is mental and that really shines through when you're listening to it. You've got just a simple sponge, put that against Hero is my middle name. It's just the, the, the music and the differences and the parallels, there's something for everyone. There's a song that everyone will like the style of. I also think the fact that it is written for children, and I, I put that in asterisks because it's only written for children in the fact that it's based off the Spongebob TV series, which is obviously a kid's cartoon. But I wouldn't say the musical is written specifically for children, but the fact that it's written in a simple way, again, there's a lot of this going on because it, it, it's, it's here and there. What I'm trying to say is because it's written in quite a simplistic way so that kids can understand it easier than other musicals, I think that is why it does so well because adults can watch it and easily understand it, even if they're not familiar with musicals. I mean, who doesn't want to see their favourite characters up on stage singing? Well, I just think this musical deserves more recognition and appreciation from the musical theatre community. It's a lovely musical, it's well done, well composed, and it's fun. I think that's what people miss. It's fun. 
Musical theatre is meant to be fun. This is a fun show. Have you guys seen SpongeBob the Musical? If you have, let me know. Uh, what did you think of it? Was it good live? Did you enjoy it? Or if you haven't seen it and you're from the UK like myself, it is doing the UK tour next year. Are you going to go and see it? If you are in the UK and you like musical theatre, I would very much recommend you go and see it. I've never seen it live, but I'm definitely going to. With that being said, with that being said, thank you for watching. If you want to see more content from me, I will leave a playlist up here to all of my SpongeBob the Musical reaction videos, and then there'll be some sort of Muppet video here because I also do a lot of Muppet content. Subscribe if you're new or you haven't done so already. Podcast channel here. Toodles.